So for this challenge, we're going to be drawing, challenge eight, we're going to be drawing a beetle inspired by the many beetles that they have in the Ram Museum. So this one we're going to be drawing is called a, a scarab flower beetle. Um, it has a little purple area on its back, or violet, because today's colour is violet. Um, and I also thought that although this one has a fantastic colouring, so you could actually choose to colour your beetle however you want. So I'm going to show you how to do the shape of the beetle. And the first thing we're going to draw is a big oval. There we go. And then in the middle, that near the top, we're going to draw a triangle. And then from the bottom of that triangle, we're going to draw a line. And then meeting up with the triangle, we're going to do scallops. So it's a circle and a circle and a circle and a circle. And then for the top of the beetle, we're going to put a rectangle shape here. And then a couple of ovals again. Now we're going to work on the legs. So we've got a leg coming out here. So I'm just doing like a little rectangle. And then an almost a rectangle. And then a line. Do the other side to match. There we go. And then they've got six legs, so we're going to do another one coming out on this side. One coming out on this side. And then some big ones back here. So square, another rectangle. Square. Rectangle. Now these flower scarab beetles have these amazing scallop edging, like little spikes on their legs. So we're just going to draw those in. And right at the end, they've got kind of little pointers. There we go. I'm going to do it for this leg as well. So when you get to this point, it's probably time to start colouring in. So I'm just going to use my marker pen to colour in with, and I quite like using the marker pen because it's nice and shiny. So I'm just going to start by colouring in. So once you've finished colouring it in, in black, so you could paint it, use pens, crayons. I've used the permanent marker because I like the shine on it, but it's completely up to you how you want to colour it in. I've now got a gold gel pen, and I'm going to start marking off the patterning on my beetle. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a little triangle shape here, and one on the opposite side. And then colour them in. I'm going to do another sort of splodgy shape here 
and the same on the other side. Another one. What I'm going to try and do is get this side always to match with my other side. So this is the bit where you can have your own artistic interpretation. How do you want your beetle to be decorated? I really like the gold pen against the black um, marker pen. I think it really gives it a good shine for the beetle. So around this triangle, mm -hmm. put some gold. There we go. And then down here, draw some sort of curved lines. So they're thin at one end and thicker at the other. Do that again here and again there. And colour them in. So I'm going to join those two together. That's a little bit what it looks like on the picture that we looked at. And I'll just put some extra gold around here. Now in a minute, I'm going to put some green on this beetle, but you could use purple if you fancy doing a violet beetle. Um, but I'm also going to put purple. And I'm just going to use crayon for this. And I'm going to put this purple sheen here. Just going purple, and then I think on the actual picture, then it looks a bit reddish. Get a bit of colour. There we are, and then we've got some green as well. So that's a dark green, which I think is similar to what we can see on the original picture colouring. So I'm doing some patches of green here. And then of course I'm going to try and get it matching on the other side. Now I'm not sure if this green shows up that well on the camera so I'm going to go over this green with a brighter green. Do some on the top bit as well for sure. And then up here it just goes a little bit orangey. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of orange around here. So after I finish just putting the bit of orange on. I'm actually going to get a thin fine line pen, black one, and I'm just going to go over all the legs here to give it some nice, to make it look really spiky and hairy. So it really brings out these bits here, the little wisps. There we go. So I'm going to do that all the way around and up here as well. I'm also going to put a little triangle here and a little triangle here. And then right at the bottom, I'm just drawing two little triangles here and here for the bottom of the shell. And that is how you draw a scarab beetle with your own decoration. We would absolutely love to see your creations, your beetle drawings. So if you get a chance to photograph them, and send them over to the RAM email address which is on this page or also to hashtag RAM at home. We would just love to see them. Um, another thing you could always do is take a photo of them and send them to a friend or family member that you can't actually see at the moment but just to let them know you're thinking of them. Um, and we are thinking this week of the Take Flight project and the Hikma community group who um, we're dedicating this art challenge to. We're hoping that you're all still finding weekly inspiration and that also that you've got some good river views from your windows. So we are sending all you guys lots of love. So thank you for tuning in and hopefully see some of you next week for the next art challenge. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.